Hey, what's up guys? Chris here from Security Bros, back with another video. And today I will review a new smart Wi-Fi bullet IP camera from IMU, the Bullet 2E. Is it any good? Let's find out. So this is one of iMU's latest bullet cameras, which is a bit more budget friendly than the iMU new bullet that I reviewed last year. And if we take a quick look at them side by side, we can see that the 2E is a bit smaller and the build quality and design doesn't feel as premium as the iMU new bullet. Overall I think it's a decent camera considering the price and I don't have much to complain about except for the image quality which wasn't as good as I had hoped for. So if you're looking for a camera to easily identify a person or read license plates, this is probably not the best camera for that. One of the main features of this camera is human detection, which worked okay. I did have some false alarms, but it's definitely better than without. Another feature is that the camera can record in full color at night using two white LEDs. And you can choose four different modes, infrared mode, which is normal black and white night vision. And then color mode, which means the two spotlights are on all night lighting up the area. And then smart mode, which means the camera will turn on the white LED lights when motion is detected. And last we have off mode, if you have no need for infrared or white LEDs. Anyway, I got this camera from AliExpress and I paid $50 for it. And if you're interested in buying this camera, you will find my affiliate links in the video description below with the most updated prices. So the camera uses a 2 megapixel CMOS sensor that records 1080p at 25 frames per second. And the camera I got uses a 2.8mm lens with a viewing angle of 120 degrees. But you can also buy it with 3.6 and 6mm lenses as well. The camera works with an app called iMU Life and it will send you an instant push notification to a smart device whenever the camera detects motion and you can view the recorded video saved on the SD card directly in the app. If you want you can also use their cloud service but that's optional and the camera supports up to 256GB micro SD card. The camera also supports Anvif, which means you should be able to connect the camera to most brands, NVRs or software that supports Anvif. And I had no problem connecting the camera to Anvif device manager. Unfortunately, the camera does not have a web interface, so you can't access it using a web browser. It does have a microphone, so it can record audio, but it doesn't have a speaker, so you can't talk through the camera. And this camera is made for outdoor use with an IP67 rating, which means the camera is weatherproof and shouldn't have any problems with heavy rain. And it has a working temperature between minus 30 to 60 degrees Celsius. Night vision range is supposed to be up to 30 meters according to IMU. And same as daytime, image quality isn't the best. What we get in the box is the camera, a power adapter, a quick start guide, a waterproof connector cover, mounting template and a bag with screws. So on the front of the camera we have the lens, indicator light, two white LEDs and the infrared lights that we can't see right now and the microphone. And under the camera we got the reset button which you can access without opening the cover. And under the cover we will find the SD card slot. To connect the camera to the app is really easy and only takes a few minutes. So first we need to download the iMU Life app from either Google Play Store or App Store depending on what device you are using. When you have the app open click on the plus icon to add a new device. Here we can scan the QR code on the camera or we can add it manually. And this camera supports AP mode, so you can connect to it without an internet connection. Let's click scan QR code, and after you have successfully scanned the camera, click next, and then next again. Select your Wi-Fi network and add your password and click next. And wait for it to connect. And that's it. Now we can access the camera. So in here we can watch live view, watch multiple cameras, change the image quality, turn on and off audio and full screen. Down here we can take a snapshot, record video and turn on the spotlight. If we click on view history record, 
We can access playback saved on the SD card and also the cloud service if you have that active. In the top right corner we will find all the camera settings. In notifications we can turn on and off push notifications and if we want push with images. In arm settings we can turn on and off motion detection, human detection, set the arm schedule, set the motion detection sensitivity between 1 to 5 and where we want motion detection active. In local storage we can see how much storage that is left on the SD card as well as format the card. In local storage settings we can turn on and off local recording, set stream quality and turn 24-7 recording on or schedule recording. White light settings we can set the white LEDs to be triggered by alarm. And in night vision we can select the different night vision mode that I talked about in the beginning of the video and the light sensor sensitivity. And that's about it, not really that many settings to play around with to be honest. Okay, let's have a look at some recordings I did. This is recorded in 1080p at 25 frames per second with audio turned on. And at around 10 meters you can read the plate number, but it's not very clear. This is nighttime with infrared on, it's not in total darkness since there is a street light just across the street and it's also Christmas time so there is a lot of lights around the neighborhood. And here is full color at night using the two white LEDs. And this is how the smart night vision work. This is in total darkness and I had to try this indoors since it was too bright outside even at night. Alright guys, that's all for today's video. Thanks for watching. Hopefully I will see you in the next video as well. See you next time.